What's up, guys? Deep Three here with another Deep Three Reviews. I got a huge pile of things stacking up. And, uh, you know, what do we got to do? We got to take it one video at a time. Um, thanks for all the support. We've hit 100 subs. Aiming for 200. So if you guys want to see more reviews, as always, like, comment, subscribe. I always appreciate it. And without further ado, we've got this package. We got from DHgate. It took about a month. Month? Yeah. Month or five weeks or so. It is the... Well, if you clicked on the video, you should already know what it is. It is the Air Jordan Tokyo Biohacks. Now, uh, I opened this already. This actually came in two boxes, or one box, this brown one, as well as a uh, plastic wrap packaging when they sent it in. And in that, it included a little cute Jordan keychain here. Bring that up close. Look at that, boy. Really, really cute. Kind of cool that they included it. Didn't even know it was included. And then, uh, some socks. Some knockoff Nike socks. Uh, that's cool, too. It's all in Chinese, I believe. Yep, all in Chinese. In the back as well. It says large. Uh, we'll just whip this open. Why not? Well, let's review the socks that they gave us, too. Why not? Why not? Uh, they are Lowe's. And uh, feel-wise, they don't feel that bad. Like They feel nice. I'll use them. Acceptable. They don't feel like sandpaper on my feet. So that's good. Okay. Now the big boy. We have the box here. Uh, I mean, since it's been shipping for about five weeks, you would imagine the box is dented up. And yes, of course, it is dinked up. You don't need that. Here's the box as is. This is how it came. I have not worn these yet. I've only uh, taken a little peek at them. You see the corners are ding. Of course, it's going to happen. Uh, here's the label. label looks pretty good, right? It's 10 and a half, USA. Uh, Air Jordan 1 Retro High 06. I don't think that's the correct labeling. But, um, you know, whatever. Big ding over here. It's all good. We don't really care about the box, though. We care about the shoe. So, inside, let's flip the lid off. We have a uh, little sheet thing here. Don't need that. Toss it. Flip it open. And you see that we have the shoes here. Very vibrant, very colorful. Let's give it a little... Box check, um, looks like they are not pre-laced. Maybe I will lace them later. This is how they look. I will also record on my camera up close. Oh, if you want to just fast forward to the B-roll, you can do that. In terms of the fabric, fabric quality, I do have not touched the real ones yet. Um, they feel uh, velvety here. So anywhere you see color on the sides, it feels like a velvet type that you'd feel on a rope that's trying to keep you out. Um, some paint or ink falling onto the rubber. The rubber feels good. It feels very, very uh, grippy. So, you know, if you want to run in these, I guess you could. It feel nice. Um, over on the swoosh, oh, well, actually feels really nice. It feels like a sticky leather almost. I'm not sure if that's supposed to feel like that, but feels uh, high quality on the swoosh. Then over here, you see a tag. I believe it says... Hashtag H12. So, I think that's what it says. Correct me in the comment section below if I'm wrong. Uh, we have laces here uh, included. We also come... They also come with uh, pink laces. Some red, orange, orange laces, uh, yellow, and also the teal. So that's really dope. It gives us four uh, sets of laces there. 
Um, in terms of errors in the construction of the shoe, I don't see a lot. It looks a little bit messy on the bottom right here. You can notice on the rubber. But that's not really a big deal. I more so got this shoe as a, a collecting piece because I like having shoes in my background just to look at. Um, paid about $60 for these. So you would imagine like quality wise, it's not like the best compared to the Dior's or the Travis Scott shoes. If you haven't seen those, check that video out in the description below. But, uh, you know, it goes to show uh, price plays a big role in the quality of the shoe, obviously. Uh, you'll see here on the holes on both of these, they were not punched out. This is uh, similar to what happened with the uh, Travis Scott's as well. So you kind of just need to take a needle and poke them out yourself. Really easy to do. It's not a big deal. Um, here on the tongue, it's the uh, squishy padded material with the exposed on the tongue. Exposed area, almost like that off-white style because that's what's in right now. Very flashy on the colors, as you can see. Orange tongue, pink, pink labeling with the blue threads. Real colorful. Pink on the inside, of course. Let's take this cardboard out. Don't need that. And on the inside, you'll see that it'll say Nike Air. Very cool. I see a little bit of extra, you know, threading or fabric on the edge here. You see it hanging. Real easy to fix. Just... You know, take a little scissors and snip snip. No one's going to notice when you wear them. Uh, overall, I'm pretty happy for, you know, 60 bucks. It feels dope. So, would I get them again? Yeah, because I wouldn't buy the real ones. This is one of the shoes where I would never buy the real ones. Because this is a really hard shoe to wear. It's like a unicorn vomited these colors. I mean, look at it. I mean... <laughs> There's some lime green here, some green here, teal there, blue there, brown here, black here. There's like, only color missing is what, purple? Oh man, they missed purple. You gotta throw some purple on here. So, worth, yes, quality, really nice. So, these are my final thoughts on the shoe. It is a vomit of colors like uh, a unicorn threw up on them. I am extremely happy with how these came out as replicas that I have them in my hand. Initially, when I opened it, I'm going to have to be honest, I, I wasn't feeling it, but the more I look at them on the uh, shelf and the more I feel them and stuff, it, it actually puts a smile on my face. Sure, it's a shoe that's really hard to wear, but I think this is a really great like collecting piece. If you can get over the uh, extra like threading you can see here poking out or the uh, holes, you can just poke out yourself as well. You know, m minor manufacturing flaws. It can happen to any shoe, even to actual Nike shoes. If you're fine with that, I would consider these. <laughs> Grip is awesome. Uh, the padding's fine. Put them on already. They feel a little bit on the harder side, but, you know, it's okay. It's not a big deal. Do I recommend them? Yeah, I do. Well, let's rate it on a uh, scale of 1 to 10. I'll give it a... Let's see. We bought the Dior's. We bought the Travis Scott's. Travis Scott's are up there. I would give them a 10. Dior's, I would give a 7. I think I would give these a 7 as well. Uh, I checked my listing. I paid 65 for these plus $10 in shipping. So it ended up being 75 uh, if you're looking for uh, this type of quality of a sneaker. That's the price point for this, okay? If you want a higher quality version of the same shoe, you know, just keep looking through the site and you'll eventually find one. You just keep going. All of them will just vary based off price on... For, uh, for the quality you pay you want to pay fifty dollars for this shoe you're gonna get a worse shoe just sh straight up materials are gonna be completely off from what the original shoe is uh, I imagine at this price point it's at least somewhat close but uh you know that's why we test these things is why we check until next time 
Uh, leaving you guys with the B-roll as usual. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. I always appreciate it. Uh, thank you for the 100 subs. Let's go for 200. Um, like the video, especially if you want me to do more DHgate shoe review videos. I have another shoe coming in. Till then, peace. <laughs>